Welcome to Nigeria's presidential debates, live from our BNT studio here in Abuja. My name is Ifain Sochi. And I am Anita Ehianogo. And together, we shall be moderating this live debate. Good day and welcome to our live audience and millions of people out there watching from home and in diaspora. After several months of rallies, campaigns, and of course, heated controversies, we are here with three candidates still standing tall. And today, all the candidates have the final opportunity to tell the Nigerians what they will do for them when they are finally elected as a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We welcome the PPP flag bearer, Chief Bright Ayo, seated over there. Next is the PPM flag bearer, Governor Jacob Efosa. And the final one is the NCPC flag bearer, Senator Chris Ben Omale. Your Excellencies, the poll here shows this race could go either way. The reason for this debate is for you to convince Nigerians on the reason why they should elect you the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We'll have 10 questions in total. Each of you have two minutes to answer my questions. And also, we shall go for a commercial break and come back. We'll be receiving questions from our member audience. Three questions, and that will be it. Thank you. Politicians over the years make so many uh, promises, which is overwhelming to tackle within four years. His Excellency, if elected as the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which three major areas are you sure you can focus on and how do you intend to solve these problems within your four years in office? Um, thank you, Anita and Ifai. If I am elected the president of this great country, The first thing I will tackle is unemployment. A country that has 70% unemployment is dangerous. As everybody knows that, uh, and I don't mind the devil's workshop. That's why, because of unemployment, you see crime everywhere. So I will make sure people get gainful employment. No more contract staff, no more casual staff gainful employment. That is number one. The second thing I will focus on is health is wealth. I will make sure I reorganize and finance our health system very well. Not only the medical, but the alternative health, the traditional. The Chinese is making millions of naira from herbs and roots. We will also increase prove our medical and uh, traditional health medicine for general good health of everybody. And thirdly, is education. And uh, you all agree with me that uh, education is very important to everybody, even if you want to say granite. Education is very important. Even if you want to save granite, you need to be educated so that you can count your money and save it very well. I will make sure every child in this country, no matter the background of the parents, attend good school. Public schools should no longer be a place of touting, place of courtesy. No, I will bring back Good old days when the inspectors will be going to school to see that the teachers, the students are well behaved and we have good product from both private and public school. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, thank you very much, Ifai and Anita. Let me, let me, I, I almost forgot something. You see, uh, uh, let, let me. Send this. I'm not just blowing my own trumpet, but it's on record that when I was the governor in my state, I did most of these things I'm saying. And today, my state is one of the best in this nation, even in Africa at large. So what I'm saying is that um, if we bring freshers 
uh, new people that those we call told in secondary school that don't have experience. That will mean sending this country back to uh, dark ages, and that will not be good for our nation. So I am the right person to rule this nation. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Oh, um, thank you, Ifai and Anita. And I say uh, thank you to everybody watching us. Yes, if I, or when I finally become the president of this country, my first focus will be on steady electricity. Steady power supply should be the first priority of any developing nation. Why did I say that? Every sector needs steady electricity to be functional. A good businessman, anyone who wants to invest, would definitely want good return. Now you invest, you get back. There's what we call income and expenditure. Income, what you get, what you receive, expenditure, what goes out from your establishment. Now, steady power supply is very useful to every sector, both in factories, in companies, educational sector, health sector, even the common businessman need steady power supply to be functional. But in a situation whereby you don't have steady power supply, you get more expenditure from this establishment. Now, for you to be a good businessman, you have to cut down on your expenditure. How do you do that? When there is power supply, it helps you cut down a lot on your expenditure. How do you cut down on your expenditure? When there is power supply, steady power supply, you have cut down on your steady expenditure. Now, when there is no full power supply, you have to embark on acquiring full generator sets. We all know how much it costs to acquire a good generator set. Not just acquiring generator sets, now you have to incur expenditure on a daily basis by foiling it, either by petrol or by diesel. You see why I said steady power supply is a major tool for any developing country. Secondly, education. We all know how important education is in our sector, in our system, in our society. We have to invest in education because it's the best investment any nation, any government will do. But how do we get it? How, do we, how can we get it when the people who are still ruling us, the people who are top there controlling this country are not even educated? All they do is forge results Sorry. to acquire their political careers. Let's now come back to what is going on, what has been eating us up. Eight years ago, a liter of fuel was sold for 97 naira, 83 kobo. Just last week, I went with my driver to go buy fuel. How much was a liter of fuel? It was sold for 450 naira. And I was even mad, like it was too expensive. I had to call a friend. And a friend told me in his own state, it was sold for 500 Naira. Why some other state, it is even sold for 700 Naira, 800 Naira. What kind of country is that? Where you don't have regulatory body, anybody can just wake up one morning, go to his filling station and increase the fair price. What is going on? Is that the kind of country you want? Is that what you all want in this country? Come on! For God's sake, we have to stand up. Now, I took three families to go get food stuff. Getting to the market, a bag of rice that was sold 8,000 naira 2015 is now sold for 45,000 naira. God, what is going on in this country? Is that the kind of country you want? Is it what you want? I am not a fan of bread. Yes, but you know how much... A loaf of bread is sold for 1,500 naira. Is that the kind of country you want? Is that what you all want for yourself? Now let me ask you a question. You, you, and you. I want to ask you this question. If you employ someone to come and do a job for you, and the person did a bad job for you, will you employ that person again to come and do the same job for you, or another job for you? 
The answer is no. Please, Nigerians, our youths, stand up. It is your country. This is time for us to take back our country. It is your country. It is my country. It is not your father's property. It is not their inheritance. It is our inheritance. It is what we want this country to be. It will be. It is not tomorrow, but it is now. Now and now. Thank you very much. Moderators. Moderators. Before I go into my plans for the good people of Nigeria, when I am elected as president, I must, when I'm elected as the president, I must correct one thing, and that is Senator uh, O'Malley's exaggerations on the prize. I didn't know where he got his figures from, but all things are not bad at all. Chief Ayo, you said Senator Mali exaggerated its prices. Well, do you remember how much a bag of rice, one liter of fuel, and also a loaf of bread cost in the last eight years and what it is today? Well, there's not much different. Give or take. Chief Ayo, please answer the question. Uh, it was 100 Naira, but now it's 150 Naira. Uh, Chief, uh, I want you to be specific. Are you talking about one bag of rice, or a liter of fuel, or a loaf of bread? I was talking about a liter of fuel and uh, bread, rather. Uh, Chief Ayo, please, I would like to draw your attention more. Which one in particular? And I know that Nigerians are eager to hear from you. So please, uh, shed more light. Which one in particular are you talking about? And if possible, the locations where we can get these things cheaper, because I will also want to go there and get my feel at the cheap prices. Well, things may be more expensive in most part of the countries, because the business people who sell liter of fuel and bread exorbitantly. Besides, we shouldn't be focusing on the bigger issues and not that of price of bread. His Excellency, I know that this might not be important to you, but millions of Nigerians out there, they are the ones suffering these prices. And we actually want to know where, if it's possible, where we can get these items. Is it the bread, fuel, or any other thing at cheaper prices so that we can let this rest? Well, I am not saying that the cost of living is not a problem. But all we need is change. We need to remove bad governance. Bad governance. Uh, Chief Ayo, you came from the ruling party. And if I may remind you, in 2015, your party canvassed about change. So I wonder, what kind of change are you coming with this time around? Forget about them. Forget about them. I will bring a change. Yes, we need to remove the bad X. Forget the blood dash. Yeah, Nigerians, you've heard from the three candidates. You can send in your questions. We are live on Instagram, we are live on Twitter, and we are live on Facebook. We'll take your questions on the screen and also read out to them. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Anita. Here I'm
And the pele of four, my little friend. He didn't know how to play football, but he knew how to do a lot of things. You could repair expensive phones, and no one thought you. You could also repair a punctured tire like any other professional. You even repaired my broken radio. <laughs> You had this great hunger for going to school, but there was no money to send you to school. You were 11 years old, but you had the brain of 25 years old. You had a dream of becoming an engineer. You wanted to travel abroad, just like me. You want to leave this country, Nigeria, where the poor suffer so much and our leader does not care. They always pretend they care, but they do not. But their actions, lack of action speaks louder than words. Dad. Dad. Dad, take a look at this. Lisa, are you out of your mind? Don't you see I'm in a meeting? Dad, take a look at this. Look what the damage and chaos that you helped in creating have cost. Is it not, Sam? Your we friend? Must say a word for themselves. What about him you want me to say? just keep watching. We have to care for ordinary Nigerians who cannot talk for themselves. What is going on? As for me, 
the other night, one stupid, naive, selfish, and unscrupulous man that has sold his soul to one politician blamed the doctors for abandoning their patients. But how can they, I mean, how can they work without nothing? Dad, that little boy died in the hospital because you and your fellow politicians refused to address and resolve the issue of doctor's salary for 13 months, thereby forcing them into going on strike, while a good number of them left the country for greener pasture. Lisa? Dad, you killed that young, vibrant boy. Lisa? You all are murderers. Murderers, that's what you are. What is wrong with Lisa? She's beginning to cross the line. Um, Chief, if I am to say, I will say you should invite that guy. Yes, invite that young man into our campaign team. Hmm? As you can see, that young man is highly gifted. Invite him to come and do what exactly? Why should we invite him? Oh, Deji. Okay. Take a good look at this. In less than 25 minutes, this young man already has over 200,000 views and 101,000 likes. Can't you see that this young man is highly talented? Get him. Get that boy to our side. Mm -hmm. Don't allow Lisa to get him before you. And I think uh, she's been trying to do that. Get him. Dad. Are you sure about this? It's damage control, but you will understand. And that is called political yeah. strategy. I know what you're calling, and I'm not in the mood. Don't you ever mention his name again. He's my friend. And I prefer you respect him. Especially now that his life was stolen from him. All I want is justice. Look at me now. Take a look at me. You and I cannot do anything. Not what you're talking about. When is this gonna be over? Why me now? Yeah. The innocent so far. And the wicked triumph. Justice no more works for us. Bribery and corruption everywhere. Oh, hey, oh, oh. While I dare, oh. All I want is just. Papa, please stop it. Stop it. You just have to stop it. You're one of my problems. You're one reason I'm passing through this pain now. I did not keep Pele. I did not. Look, the actions and the actions of our leaders led to... If, if, you had, if you had given me the money I asked of you to travel abroad, Papa, I would have been rich by now. Maybe I would have taken Pele to a private hospital. He wouldn't have died. Sam. 
You see, power intoxicates. And with the kind of mindset you have, yeah. uh, my friend, uh, you are not going to be any different from those you already hate because they, 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 are, they are the privileged ones. Listen, you have to control your, 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 your desire for power and money. Think of the many Nigerians out there who are more or less like Pele. All the plans I had for you. I had always wanted you to become the first female president. I had always wanted you to go to the Senate and represent. But all to no avail. That shows how stupid you are. Opportunities. Many ladies are waiting to grab. You miss them all. Same Sam will be on my side. He's sensitive and a fine young man. And I will bring. That Sam will not listen to you. Really? Yes. I know him more than you do. You are not just stupid. You are also naive. Everyone has a price tag. Give it to him or her. And they will fall and get your wish. Learn from your dad. The same Sam you have been working on for a few weeks now. Well, so be on my side. Dad, I remember you telling us how you came from a humble beginning. What happened? How did it feel like being as poor as Sam and Pele's parents? I need you to put yourself in their shoes. Only then will your heart be softened a bit for humanity's sake. It is not that I do not know what it feels to be poor. But I just don't want to go back there. My children to go back there. My family. My great grandchildren. Grandchildren to go back being poor again. Lisa. Yeah. 